Alright guys, what is up? So we have gotten the first GTA Online event week after the summer update. We're going to start off with the main thing that is right there, slap bang. As soon as you open it up, two times money in RP on a Super Yacht Life contact missions. These are the six new missions that were released in the event in the uh, summer DLC. And I will be doing a video on each one of them just to give you a little bit of a briefing of what to expect and some ideas on how to make it slightly easier for you. Also, we've got three times money in RP on tra uh, Trap Door Adversary Mode. So if you're a hand, well not a hand to hand, but a combat favoured player, then this is probably going to be an Adversary Mode that is good for you. And double money in RP on the Transform races, which I did a while back again when it was two times money, and I'll probably just do another little little update video on that. Just letting you know what type of activities you will be getting yourselves into with these races. Also, if uh, any player that logs in for this week, you get a free Internet Cafe T-shirt themed from GTA 4. So all you do players from GTA 4 include myself that went into that internet cafe a lot to look at anything because I'm pretty sure the phones that we had on the game didn't have internet and we had to go them so if you log in before August 26th you get a free internet cafe t-shirt the lucky wheel this week is the 811 now this car is <clears throat> at the moment the fastest or well, the highest top speeded vehicle in game uh, that's only kind of beneficial for races that have long straights um, because the cornering is not that fantastic it's got quite a lot of understeer and if you don't know what that means that basically means you turn the wheel and it has a very wide turning circle um, but if you've got a race that goes around the entire map on the highways then this is probably going to be the winner for you because it has the highest top speed in the entire game again ends August 26th discounts also include 30% off yachts and yacht upgrades and modifications so if you want to have a little bit of fun around with customizing a newly bought yacht if you have received that um, to do the uh, yacht contact missions then now's your chance this week to get 30% off any upgrades you may want to do on them along with um, I don't know if it's 30% off all of them uh, but we got this one 30% off the Lampadati Toro 30% uh, off the Buckingham Super Valot and once again 30% off the Devastate 8 now I'm not going to go through every single one of these names, but I will put them on screen. But we have got 30% off every single boat, submarine, or seafaring vehicle there is in the game, which I think we have not had for a while. 30% off helicopters being the Buzzard, Akula, Swift, Swift Deluxe, Valatus, Supervella, and the, the ones we've just discussed. And land vehicles, 30% off the Imponte... The Runa 2000 basically, HVY APC and the Devastate 8 along with some other vehicles which I will put on screen. Um, so I'd say this week is, it's kind of a yacht themed I'd say to follow up from the summer DLC that we've just had. Um, but why there are so many sports classic vehicles in the discounts I am not too sure and why they're not on the newswire <clears throat> I do not know either but I'm sure there will be some reason into that premium race is downtown underground which is locked to supers which is a kind of figure of eight styled racetrack around the downtown Los Santos area around the Maze Bank time trial is Pillbox Hill and the RC time trial is La Fuente Blanca so 
we've got quite a few discounts for vehicles on there if you wanted to stock up on sports classics which I think are one of the nicest looking classes of vehicle because they're a bit more classic and the customizations you can get on them some of them are pretty cool um, but what we'll be expecting after next week well after this week who knows how long it will be before we get the heist or the new heists and the new locations we'll have to wait and see but leave a like if you did enjoy if this video was any helpful whatsoever at all then again do leave a like leave a comment what your favorite vehicle is so far of this week um, if there's any vehicles that are discounted that you were hoping to be discounted at some point because you wanted them or which vehicles you hope to be discounted next week and um, what is your favorite part so far of the newly updated GT Online and if you do go ahead and continue to enjoy then do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when any videos or updates I unleash onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one